In this video, let's cover component caching with computed properties in Laravel Livewire. So on the Laravel News homepage, we have different sections that show everything from like the latest articles, trending articles, recently covered packages, new tutorials, and more. Um, each of these sections uh, is calling a computed property on our homepage component. And then inside each, they do a database query to, you know, to get the results out. But as you might imagine, that generates a lot of queries for just this one page that is the most popular page on our site. Um, so there's no point in running those 20, 25 queries. So we should utilize caching. And Livewire actually includes two or three different ways of caching by default, and it's easy to tap into. So I wanted to jump in, and I've created a sample project so we can go in and learn the different ways to utilize Laravel Livewire's um, component caching. So here's a quick little test. I set up a brand new Livewire project and I'm pulling in two different sections, the latest and the tutorials, and both of those are coming from computed Livewire properties. And you can see we actually have two queries running, one for this one and one for the tutorials. So if we switch over to our editor, uh, right now I have the homepage component and I'm enabling the query log. That's just so we can see that I can print the queries on the, sc on the screen that are running. And then when you can see right here is our two computed properties. We have recent and we have tutorials. Neither of those are cached right now, but you can actually cache those um, directly on the component itself. You can just pass in a cache equals true. Now if we switch back, refresh, refresh again, you can see we have zero queries because everything is being cached, which that works fine. Um, but the problem is, is the only way to clear that is to call PHP artisan cache clear or to basically clear all the cache. You can't uniquely clear one of those. It's uh, kind of an all or nothing solution. So you can see I've already cleared the cache. We've got two queries coming back. Now if I refresh one more time, it should be back to zero because the cache is completely cleared. So one of the new features of the recent Livewire release is you can actually pass in a key. So for here, we can do like home tutorials, and then up here, we might do something like a key. Gotta pass in the key first. We can do home recent. Let's clear the cache again. Go back over and refresh. You can see we're back to two queries again. And now if we refresh again, we have a zero. But this gives us the flexibility to now we can forget just one of those components cache. So in this example, PHP artisan cache forget home tutorials. If we run that, we have now cleared the tutorials cache. So if we hit refresh, we're back to running one query. Only the, only the query to pull this back out. If we refresh again, we go back to zero. So hopefully you can see how powerful these um, computer properties can be, especially when you add the keys to them and caching. So um, hope this helps in, um, you know, in anything you're setting up with Livewire and gives you a little bit of behind the scenes on how we're using Livewire here on Laravel News. Thanks a lot for watching and have a wonderful day.